The Miami Dolphins have expressed their commitment to Tua Tagovailoa as their starting quarterback multiple times. However, they have yet to finalize a contract extension with the former Alabama star. On Saturday morning, ESPN's Jeremy Fowler appeared on SportsCenter to explain why the contract negotiations between the Dolphins and Tagovailoa are proving to be complex. This situation is tricky because Miami is dedicated to making it happen. They want to sign him long-term and have had discussions, Fowler said. I believe they are close, but recent deals like Jared Goff's and Trevor Lawrence's $55 million a year contracts make things complicated. Last month, the Lions signed Goff to a four-year, $212 million contract with $170 million guaranteed. Meanwhile, Lawrence recently secured a five-year, $275 million deal, which includes $200 million in guaranteed money. According to Fowler, the Dolphins are not rushing to match these figures, but Tua Tagovailoa believes he deserves a similar pay after leading the NFL in passing last season. In 2023, Tagovailoa threw for 4,624 yards, with 29 touchdowns and 14 interceptions. Miami isn't sure if they can meet that high number, but that's the going rate for a player who has proven durable and led the league in passing yards. So he's delivered, Fowler noted. Tua believes the market value is what it is. We'll see if Miami can bridge the gap. They have six weeks before training camp to try and make it happen. Adam Schefter from ESPN also shared insights on how Trevor Lawrence's contract impacts the market for quarterbacks like Dak Prescott and Tua Tagovailoa. With training camp approaching, the focus remains on quarterbacks awaiting extensions. Earlier this month, Trevor Lawrence's five-year, $275 million extension positioned him among the league's highest-paid quarterbacks, alongside Joe Burrow. This new benchmark could influence other quarterbacks, including Jordan Love, Tua Tagovailoa, and Dak Prescott. Schefter explained that Lawrence's deal might set a new standard in the negotiations. Every quarterback waiting for a new deal has taken note of this contract. Trevor Lawrence and the Jaguars have given them leverage in their contract talks with teams, Schefter said on NFL Live Thursday. For example, Dak Prescott in Dallas, or Jordan Love and Tua Tagovailoa, who can now argue they deserve to be paid like Trevor Lawrence at $55 million a year. Schefter pointed out that teams may have previously told players like Love and Tagovailoa they couldn't match Joe Burrow's $55 million a year. Now, with Lawrence's average at $55 million a year, Love and Tagovailoa can argue they have achieved as much as Lawrence and therefore deserve similar contracts. As the Dolphins work to finalize a deal with Tagovailoa, it's clear that the recent contracts of Goff and Lawrence have added complexity to the negotiations. The Dolphins have a few weeks before training camp begins to bridge the gap and secure their commitment to Tagovailoa with a long-term deal.